Watching over a team is an essential part of any leader's job. So what is managing a group like for a giant in the world of soccer, the former head of a superpower's national security, a restaurant franchise king, and the boss of the world's largest consulting firm? My staff, and, and, and I would see them come in early in the morning, and I thought I was good, ready, fresh, had the same purpose as me. Hard-working, um, energetic, good personalities, and we built a bigger staff in terms of the physiotherapists and sports sciences and things like that. They started to come in at the same time as me. So I think that the example I was setting that was important to them say, well, if he can do it, I can do it. You know, I think uh, having a good team is essential, uh, particularly if you're dealing with a complex problem. And uh, with a, a, a team, you need to be able to have each member know their role, but also understand the overall goal uh, of the team. So one example would be when I was Secretary of Homeland Security. The Deepwater Horizon oil spill in the Gulf of Mexico was considered a spill of national significance. And since I was the secretary, I uh, was in charge of the United States government's response. At one point, I think we had well over a thousand people uh, working on the response to the spill. Um, but we were able to keep everybody moving in the same direction, dealing with uh, one of the most complex environmental, ecological disasters one could possibly imagine. You know, what's important in, in creating a team? I think, first of all, you need to have intelligent people. Secondly, you have to have people who are more willing to listen than to talk. And when they do talk, that they, what they say is, is honest. That they're not afraid of saying the truth, and they're not afraid of going against the grain. It's about respect, listening, trying to help the other, not being a grandstander, being intelligent and, and bringing experience and education to the fore. Building the best possible team around you is probably what is the most important for the CEO. And I did putting a lot of attention in creating my own team. We have a global management committee of 20 people, and I selected each and every one based on their personal qualities, their relevance to the business and their accountability to Accenture. So it's really one by one, it's the best possible casting and it's a role game. To avoid disaster, it's clear that building a team around you is one of the most important things you do as a leader. You need intelligent, energetic staff who know their role and who listen more than they talk.